we back here on the program, the platform, with our good friend, uh, Apostle Feldman Ferguson. And um, I'm looking forward to coming to your church, by the way. Yes, I'm so looking forward to having you uh, just to um, experience what it's like. Oh, yes, I, just, I, just I'm, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be like. there. Yes, and yes. Um, I, I promise you on Sunday, yeah. uh, I, I will be there and bring along uh, um, family members. And um, we're going to bring along some of the staff of, of, of Love 97. I would be deeply honored. Uh, we, deeply we, honored. Now, I, I, I might have to. Uh, um, uh, put some pressure on some of the people to, to, to come, but well, uh, we're we, we going to bring them along. Uh, we want those. Um, because, um, you know, um, yeah. we have a, a number of people who who have commitments in their churches. Yes, yes, and, I, I do you know, understand. Some people are ushers yes. and in the choir and yes. all that, and uh, they don't like missing their churches, you That's see? That's correct. That's, so, and they must be committed to that. Yes. Church. And yeah. we, we, we fully endorse that. And yeah. so... You know, if if if, if only um, you and the family come, no, I'm no, we are going to be best. there in yeah. goodly numbers. Uh, yeah, to, okay. to we, we we look forward to it. Yes, uh, we look forward in great anticipation, and I'm, I, I tell you, I'm sure that the congregation will be wanting to welcome the man um, uh, for the first time. Uh, who's been blessing us. Well, you know, because I believe that in your church that you have a whole lot of people who are sweetly saved. Oh, yeah, man, sweetly <laughs> saved, man. We, 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 we have our struggles, but we sweetly saved. Absolutely. Yeah, we sweetly saved, But But, yes. but let, let's, getting back to, to the, the state of the church in, in, in our country, um, mm -hmm. um, I'm sure uh, many people uh, must be uh, disappointed with the posture of of some of the uh, clerics in the society, mm -hmm. because I I always try to make the distinction between the church leadership yeah. and the church itself, yes. because church leaders sometimes go a mess or a foul or they yes. deviate from what they are supposed to. Isn't that right? Yes, we do. I mean, you know, <laughs> we're humans like everybody else, and. Uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes we, we make mistakes. Um, Paul says, I, I die daily. I, I bring my body under subjection, lest after I have preached, I myself may be a castaway. And so if we, if we do not consistently discipline ourselves and bring ourselves uh, to that place of sacred walk with God, it's so easy, mm. Brother Jones, to, uh, um, to slip up. Um, right after you've you've preached and ministered to hundreds, it's so easy because there's a whole lot of um, ministers. I'm not just talking in the Bahamas, but worldwide, who are quitting uh, under the pressure. They're, they're they're quitting under the pressure because ministry is pressure. T I yeah. want you um, though to describe what you see mm -hmm. um, in the social circumstances uh, of our country. You you talk about um, going. Uh, some people going to houses and mm -hmm. and feeding people and all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that is what the church ought to be about taking food to people. Um, and let me let me make the point or taking clothes to people mm -hmm. um, because um, I I read in the scriptures silver and gold have I none. <laughs> oh my God. But such as I have, give I unto, the, unto thee. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And yeah. that is what the lame, lame man was taught. Mm -hmm. And um, um, uh, as a matter of fact, the disciples went out uh, one time and Jesus told them to take nothing. Right. Let's just, just take nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 and and um, so I sometimes when you say that the church is going out and taking things. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I look back at those uh, scriptures that I read, and I want you to disabuse me uh, <laughs> of, of this notion that, that uh, I am right and you are wrong. Okay, well, uh, that I am wrong, <laughs> that you are right. taking things out. Okay, well, well um, uh, Brother Jones, uh, I go back to the Proverbs that says, he who has pity on the poor, um, lend it to God. And it says, God says, and he will repay. Jesus um, fed 5,000. He fed 5,000 on one occasion. He fed 4,000 on another occasion. 
and he commanded them to get them something to eat. Um, you, 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 you believe um, literally in, in the, the, the miracle of, of the five barley loaves. Oh, yes. The five oh, yes. fish. Oh, certainly. Uh, I you believe that thousands were fed. Oh, I do. Uh, are from that. Literally. Literally. Literally, because God is able. God is able to multiply a crumb in your hands. God is able. I be if I don't believe that, then I don't believe uh, that, that, that someone that is at stage four cancer can be healed. I don't believe then that a, a crippled man uh, can walk again. Uh, I, I, I then would not believe that someone who has died can be raised from the dead. And so I must be then careful uh, with what gospel I'm preaching. Because this gospel that I'm preaching tells me these things uh, have taken place and I've seen with my own eyes uh, miracles. Now let's go back to the, you know, we, we usually take that scripture out of te context, uh, silver and gold, have I none? You have to read the text very carefully, very carefully. The Bible says that they were going to the temple as was their custom as was their custom. Now, if this was the first time that the man asked them for silver and gold, uh, Brother Jones, then I ask, where was he? Since the scripture says he was laid at the temple gate daily, daily to ask alms. He was about 40 years old. He was laid there daily, okay? If that was their first encounter, he would not have looked at them, the scripture says, and he looked at them expecting something. On that particular occasion, Peter and John says, silver and gold, I have none. Not that they didn't have it before, not that he hadn't received for them before, otherwise he would never bother them again, because that that's not their first encounter. You read the text carefully, it says, as was their custom, they went. Now, what is the difference between that time and all of the other times. This time they were walking in power. They had just had a Pentecostal experience. And so now it was, uh, it, it, the, 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 it, it was not about giving, meeting the man's wants, it was about meeting his needs. Yeah, but what so about, now, okay. let me finish that. Mm -hmm. So now it was about the demonstration of the power of God in them, in other words, we're, we're not going to continue to give you bread so that you beg, but we're going to give you the ability Good. to get bread. Yeah. Well, what about the other text then of um, when the disciples were actually sent out um, to, to minister? Well, that, 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 is a totally, and, and that is a totally different scenario altogether. So he chose those 70 and sent, sent them out. Uh, you, and you have to be careful with that because on another occasion, he told them, now take bags. Okay? He told them, take Take, take a, a, a bag, a, a sack, take with you some money, uh, um, take with you a sword, okay? See, people have to search the scriptures carefully. He was, he, what he was doing was demonstrating to them uh, the, the ability of, of the power of God when they go to, uh, went out. As the Bible says, he breathed on them the Holy Spirit and he sent them out and he told them, don't take, just go because he was going to show them supernaturally how provisions is made. He says, now don't go from house to house. The first house you come into and, where, and they, they welcome you there, he says, stay with that house. That's where you would eat. That is where you would lodge. Don't go from house to house. Uh, um, um, looking for supplies because that house that graciously starts to supply you is where you would graciously abide so that your, your, your needs will be cared for. As he says, for the servant is worthy uh, of his hire. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so th it's a totally different scenario altogether. He sent them. But on the other occasion, they went. Yeah. Well, you, 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 would, you would agree, though, mm -hmm. that um, there are some people who have been spoiled by, by, by the church, who uh, have become so dependent on, on handout uh, that um, they depend on churches to supply their needs. You'd agree with that. Of course. Uh, Brother Jones, you, you will always have 
you will always have uh, people who cause innocent people to suffer. You will always have those kinds. Jesus said this man, he says the poor you will have with you always. There are people who are literally uh, 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 poor. They are literally poor. They are, they're not only physically poor, but they have a poor mindset. Okay? And they can't help themselves. Uh, and then there are those who take advantage of it because we have a greedy society. But don't you feed into that? Um, sometimes in your ministry, uh, this this poverty of of imagination and 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 and, and poorness and in, in, when you in, say in, feed into it, what do you mean? By in, that? in terms of of supplying the needs of people who simply do not intend to do any better. Well, here's the thing. I mean, you know, we can, we can always. That is what I said. You will always have. Um, you will always have someone who comes in and pollute a system, just as it is in the church, you know. You, uh, let, let me give you an example. Uh, uh, Paul again says, I know when I leave that there shall come uh, grievous wolves among you, not sparing the flock. Jude put it like this. Uh, he says, uh, uh, um, imposters who have crept in unawares. They're in the church today, parading around as men and women of God, mm -hmm. okay, who are imposters in the body of Christ. We will always have that. You have it in politics. Uh, um, um, people who you think really have society uh, um, at heart, and they, they get in and you see the real person, okay? You will always have those kinds of person. Jesus had it in his circle. One, one of them, he says, haven't I chosen 12 of you? And one is a devil. There will always be imposters. You, but, does, but does it stop me from doing what I'm supposed to do? We are to understand who we are and whose we are. Jesus says, let the wheat and the tares grow together till and the day of harvest. I give you a minute or so to talk about your... Now, I didn't even... I didn't ask you one thing about gambling. Yeah, no, sir. Thank uh, you, and I I didn't ask that. you one thing about gambling, right? Um, so uh, on the 28th, you are, uh, you are giving food and remnant to... To, to, to those hurting persons, those hurting we usually say from the microphone, please do not take it if there's not a need. We ask of you, allow the persons that are in need. Of course, we don't know. And you're doing this so that God will be glorified. Yes, man, from our heart. We yes. do it and, and we, don't, we don't, you know, I have a regular television and radio program. Nobody sees me um, splashing that stuff over our program and saying, oh, this is what we did this Sunday, this week. Uh, we gave away a car and we gave away a house. We, we're consistently helping our members and helping people. Mm -hmm. But I don't broadcast those things because that's not for the, for the public to know. Mm -hmm. God says what you do in secret, uh, uh, God will reward openly. It, it, you know, but I just, uh, we have used this occasion just to let people know in the process of, uh, of you coming to our service, we want to be a blessing to you as well. And so we extend this invitation to those uh, who are watching us tonight. Please, we're looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. We want you to come. We want you to experience a family again. I, I want to pray for you. I want to lay my hands on you, uh, that your bodies are healed, and that God's spirit will rest upon your life, and that there will be a transformation in your life. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, thank you so very yes. much for being here today. Yes, thank you for having me. And I hope to see you on Sunday. Man, I look forward. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so very much for watching and listening to our program. Good evening, everyone.